minutes. Are you, you know, beginning to feel more and more like yourself, you know, every day coming off this injury? Absolutely. I've been saying it since uh, in the first game. Every game gets stronger from the fourth quarter against the Suns. You know, didn't play the fourth quarter against the Spurs. Plays, you know, more minutes against Chicago. It didn't didn't uh, go our way. And tonight was kind of a gritty, you know, dig deep type of night. On a, like Draymond said, on a back to back with only eight guys really playing. You know, Moses gave us a solid five minutes, but you know, eight guys really available to to go out there. So it's a big win for us. What was your perspective on fan tonight? And you seem to really think that changed your guys' energy, not just his. I mean, we always love to engage Draymond no matter who puts the gas in the tank. Um, we've had some situations like that before. I remember Andre in Atlanta in one year, and when he made a game winner, the first thing he did was point at somebody that was on the baseline by our bench. Uh, tonight was another example of I think it was all like we've had bad interactions with fans where fans say you know stupid stuff and go across the line and and whatnot. There's nothing disrespectful. It was just good back and forth, but it was something that got Draymond going. And every time he had a shot, he knew who he was looking at, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, uh, fans want to you know interact, if you will, and. Uh, and bring some humor to to the game. Draymond responded. Uh, as long as you know, it doesn't cross the line where anything's disrespectful or personal. And that was exactly what was, what it was. But that guy, he left early. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> very disappointed. We're running out the clock. Like you got to take that smoke the whole game. So as soon as uh, we're walking back to the bench, I thought there'd be you know, a final word, but I looked over and saw him walking out uh, before the clock was at zero. That's a cardinal rule. You can't do that. Steve? I'm sure he would have stayed if we lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was, uh, it was, it was, I was, I was, oh, absolutely. Um, Steve said he thought you broke through the barrier maybe tonight. I mean, you played 38 minutes, didn't play any shots. Um, I mean, physically, this field, did you come back to I think I got through that. Like physically, uh, like I said, the fourth quarter of the Phoenix game must uh, the package, if you will, of feeling comfortable out there, getting to you know spots, feeling like I had the ball on the string, all that. That's gotten better every game. The aggressiveness was <clears throat> because that's what it required tonight in terms of you know Clay being out. Like I said, eight guys playing the way that they were defending us. I had to be aggressive. Uh, missed a lot of shots I thought I was supposed to make. Made one I didn't think was going in. But you just sustain that for, for four quarters, and, and hopefully it's enough. JP did it, uh, a lot of that in the first half as well. And hit a big you know, dagger shot in the fourth quarter. So everybody contributed on that end. Even Draymond on offense, you know, what was he like? He's perfect in the fourth quarter, I think, from the field. Um, so everybody had to be aggressive, but for me, it was another step in the direction of getting back to myself after the injury.